You know what, it wasn't all that long ago that people in Miami-Dade County could be fired for being gay, lesbian, bisexual, or trans with no legal recourse. In this part of our Pride Month series, we remind you of a man who had the courage to speak up and sacrifice his career to fight for his rights. Here's Local 10's Christian De La Rosa. I remember going to the library and looking up homosexual. I mean, I'm 13, I would get in the car and my mom would talk about the homosexuals. She would be like, oh my God, those homosexuals. And I would defend homosexuals. So probably the third or fourth time, she turned to me and said, why do you keep defending, are you a homosexual? And I'm like, yeah, I am. Always outspoken and tenacious, Miami's Damian Pardo was brave enough to put in the work. Early in my career, I was called into a, a senior member, a staff member's office, and I was told that uh, my sexual orientation should never be divulged under any circumstances, that clearly that would uh, be to my detriment. In the Pardo helped lead the charge against the wave of opposition, fighting to get the LGBTQ community equal protections against discrimination in Miami-Dade County. In 1993, Pardo was founding chair of Safeguarding American Values for Everyone. SAVE's message was simple, but powerful. This 1994 ad campaign on local buses made national headlines. I remember one of the bus boards would say, if your child were gay, would your love be less? That was it. It was just about opening a dialogue. And all members vote. The dialogue set the stage for a grueling battle in the late 90s to pass a gay rights protection ordinance at the Miami-Dade County Commission. But right out of the blocks, the movement was hit with a demoralizing defeat. That it's dead, it's okay. finished, it's Never done. Right. No ordinance had ever been denied at first reading in history. So the opposition had brought in busloads of religious people from wherever they got them from. That was one of those moments I felt the most alone in the world. They would lose this battle, but not the war. Save mobilized allies in the straight, business, and even religious communities. And in 1998, their civil rights protections measure passed by one vote. Motion passes seven to six. I think the secret sauce to, to the success of all of this was that we listened to everyone. We, we, we went where it took us. If it was a Republican, we went Republican. If it was Democrat, we went Democrat. We really tried to lean into our differences. Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News. Wow, these days Pardo keeps busy as the lead organizer of the Gate Festival held annually on Miami's Calle Ocho. It's the largest festival in the nation promoting love and acceptance of the LGBTQ people within the Latino community.